Hey folks, hey, today's the day. You already know what I'm talking about. You don't need any more information. You need transformation. Let's talk about it. Because artists like us the level buy the of expensive equipment and demos, start bringing in new clients. How do you follow a clear path to changing your voiceover side hustle into your full-time job and stick it to those that said you couldn't? Huh? Those are the questions, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Earl Hall, and welcome to In the Booth with Earl Hall, where we know how to grind and don't quit. Hey, folks, and welcome into this edition of In the Booth with Earl Hall. Amazing, amazing things are still happening as the days roll on. Every day is exciting for me. Look, if you're looking to start, build, and grow a successful voiceover business, you need to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't already. Make sure you tick the bell notification so that you know when I go live and when I upload brand new videos to the YouTube channel. Welcome in to all of the voiceover coaches across the world that tune into this program on the sly to get information about how they can help their clients. So welcome into the show. Had to say that. Uh, Boom, drop the mic. Uh, Ben, what's going on this morning with you? Steve-O, Rodney, Mage Pro, how you doing? All you folks uh, coming into the live stream on today. Jim, happy Thursday. David, welcome into the show. Um, fail builder is in the house. You guys are like my, uh, all of you guys coming in. You guys are here with me every day. Andrea, what's going on with you? Happy to have you in the house. Paul Carter. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Look, voices by storm is here too. Always every day. Voices by storm is here. Um, all right. That's a good morning. I'll come back and say some more good mornings later on, um, with this. You guys know the webinar is this evening, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Link is in the description if you haven't already signed up. 110 people are currently registered for this webinar, which means it's going to be huge. Um, This is going to be one of the largest uh, webinars as far as attendance goes that I have done. The other thing that is going to be is extremely impactful. Um, If you guys aren't subscribed to the Earl Hall Studio audio experience, uh, you need to be. I talked a little bit about this morning. It's basically a four to 10 minute um, rant, if you want to call it that, of literally what's on my mind. It's kind of a really condensed version of what I do here. I just kind of want to give you some real quick concepts and some things to think about. And it's on Alexa, it's on iTunes, it's on Google, it's everywhere. Uh, You can play it in your car if you've got the car thing in your, the uh, Apple thing in your car or whatever. So it's available just about anywhere that you want to consume it. Um, You can find out how to subscribe to it. Just go to the homepage at stepstovevoiceoversuccess.com and you will see right there um, how you can subscribe and uh, get that information every day to give you a a jump start. Uh, good morning, real little soldier. Lazarus is in the house as well. Look, <sighs> okay. Over the past two years, I have given all of you folks um, a tremendous amount of information, um, like many other folks that you tune into or listen to. And I believe that we're just inundated with information. Um, Mage is asking, is there a cap on the audience? No, there's never a cap Um, on the uh, anyone can, you know, sign up for it. There's no cap as many people as want. If they want, you know, a million people, I'm sure. Well, maybe I don't know. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be a million people. But yeah, tell everybody, everybody sign up. We get all this information And one of the things that I've looked at over the course of time that I've been doing this as far as on YouTube and and things of that nature and with the growing Facebook group that we have at Steps to Voice Over Success, um, it's the Facebook group, um, no one does the work. (laughs) And anyway, I've, I've been thinking about, okay, what is it that I actually 
can do to help. When I look at, it's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of three to 5,000 people that are actually connected to me and what it is that I do. Even all you other voiceover coaches that are tuning in on the sly, welcome. Um, <laughs> and out of that amount of folks, the number of people that actually execute on the information is small. And even more than that, the number of people that actually know how to execute on the information is small. Lur. So when I look at the, the amount of information that I've put out as far as content goes, and it's a tremendous amount of content uh, that I've put out here over the years, I'm beginning to question if it even helps in a mass way. I don't, I, well, I know it doesn't help in a mass way. There's a very teeny, 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 tiny percentage of folks that consume my content that actually have the skill set to execute on it. Um, if you're a brand new voice actor, you really don't have the skill set to execute what it is that I'm showing. And it's not a slight against brand new voice actors or anything like that at all, uh, because everyone starts somewhere. It's just the fact that to execute and actually build a business is something that is a really tremendous undertaking to take on. And so when I look at, am I really helping? And how can, and I'm always asking the question, how can I help more? You guys have heard me say that many times. How can I help more? And this is one of the main reasons why I'm doing this webinar tonight, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, is because what I understand is that it's you don't have a lack of information. You don't need any more information. What you need is transformation of your business. And the only way to get that transformation is to work with someone that knows. Now, let me tell you this. One of the main gripes I've had with voiceover coaches over the years is that you sign up for a coaching program and sometimes you never talk to the person or the coach that you watched in the video to help you. It's like talk to that person, talk to this person. And I think that's, I don't, that's not a good look at all because sometimes people buy coaching programs because of a certain celebrity status that a coach may have and they believe that they're going to work directly with that coach and you find and you get disappointed because you're not able to do that or it's on a very limited basis that you actually get to do that um in the in my podcast this morning for uh the Earl Hall Studio audio experience I talked about this whole thing of not needing more information, but needing transformation. And I gave an example of what it is that I mean, because so many times people, uh, I think it's a disservice and I'll be, I think I've done a disservice, um, with some of the things that I've done through ignorance, not through trying to hurt anyone or anything like else, anything else like that. But I can see that some of the things are just not helpful. You know, I look at different coaches that are out there. Okay, buy this ebook uh, for ten dollars, and you'll read the ebook. You'll read the book, um, even my book that you read. I believe my book is one of the best ones out there as far as the strategies that um, you can learn about in there. But having to execute on those strategies is harder than most people think. It's overwhelming. The information is overwhelming because it's so much, but the actual getting down in the dirt and actually doing it is pretty hard, um, especially if you don't have a good understanding of certain things. So I gave this analogy of, look, if you're going to, you know, Serena Williams, I use that example. You can watch Serena Williams do a perfect backhand or a serve you can buy a book that Serena Williams wrote on how to do a serve. You can watch a webinar and see Serena doing it point by point and have her explain that out to you. But what in the world do you think would happen if you stood with live 
with Serena Williams to have her show you and talk you through the philosophy, talk you through the technique, the why it's this way, the all of that stuff that goes on. You're standing right there with her and she's coaching you through the process of a serve. You're going to get so much more value of walking with Serena Williams one-on-one to show you how to do this way beyond what you would get by watching a video of her, reading a book from her. It's just there is no comparison to that. That's where transformation comes into play is you working with an expert that can actually talk you through the why twos, the how fours and all that kind of stuff to actually get in there with you. So with the webinar that I'm doing tonight, one of the things that I'm really concentrating on and, and there's, by the way, there's nothing to buy on the webinar today, tonight, there's nothing to buy. Um, This is, I'm going to give you some information and I'm going to let you know how we can do something together if it's a fit for us to work together so I can be that Serena Williams for you and show you exactly why it is that I do the things that I do. Understand the philosophy behind the strategies that I teach because I think it's a disservice not to make myself available for that. You can watch me on YouTube. You can, we can laugh. We can joke. We can get, you know, I can show you some things to do. And some of you may be able to do that and go and boom, you're, you got it. But so many of you that have consumed my information for, you know, over a year now, some of you are still in the same exact spot that you were when you first started consuming my information. That's just true. Some of you have done some tremendous things though by consuming my information. And some of you also have done even greater things by working with me one-on-one. So the transformation that I'm talking about does not come from you sitting and consuming information. When I think about growing up as a boy and my dad and, you know, which, you know, I'll, you know, my dad, my dad's still alive. He's not dead. So don't get it twisted. Um, (laughs) my mom and dad. And I think about the conversations that we have now, there's a difference between what I can get from my father, just having a conversation with him on the phone and he lives half the way across the country. But when I'm with my dad, Like if we do a Skype call, there's something or if I'm with him in the same room, there's something that is just different about what I get from that man that raised me that I can't get if he wrote a book and I read the book. There's just a difference in that. And I'm, I'm hoping that everyone that's watching right now, I'm hoping you understand and you get exactly what it is that I'm talking about. I want last last year, I said that my goal this year was to help 100 voice actors become uh, full-time voice actors doing nothing else. I am nowhere near accomplishing that goal. That's just, I am nowhere near accomplishing that goal. Now that's my own goal, but the thing that makes it a little bit harder is that, well, I've gotta be working with you in in order to accomplish this. It's not going to happen by you watching me on YouTube. It's not going to happen by you, you know, going and doing a training or something like that with me. The only way, that's why I gave the Serena Williams analogy, is working with someone that is there. And the, the, the ironic thing about this whole thing is that Serena Williams has a coach. I don't know, many of you may have seen the documentary that just came out before the last tennis event all about Serena Williams. She has a coach. The kicker is, so do I. I have a coach that I get down in the dirt with. So at a professional level, you understand, at a professional level, you understand that you need a coach to help continue to keep you on point and also to help you continue to rise and go to the next levels that are out there. None of us do this alone. I dare say, and, and I'm not talking about 
I don't have a coach to teach me voiceover. That's not the thing. My coach is sent around, how do I build my business? That's it. That's all I worry about. And so transformation is the thing. It's the only thing that's going to matter. And that transformation that I'm talking about is taking you from where you are right now into the place that you want to get to. That's what I'm talking about. And that's what I'm going to be talking about on the webinar on tonight. Um, so all of you, all of you uh, voiceover coaches that want to get that information, go ahead and register for the webinar and use that fake email address that you use so that I don't know it's you. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, Andrea says, good Lord, everything you put out helps. I appreciate that. Andrea Failbuilder, I know from personal experience is a lack of motivation to follow through. Um, and that's what a coach does too, is keeps you, it keeps you accountable. And a lot of times that's what, that's the extra push people need. The accountability piece is really it. Um, your help, uh, Sammy, you're helping please have to take ownership and put in work and invest in their success. Absolutely. Earl, I went to your website to register for tonight, but I can't find it. Ward, let me show you where it is. Um, if you go, and let me just pull up my website and I can show you where it is. It's at steps to voiceoversuccess.com. And if I, where's my screen sharer? Don't want that one. Don't want that one. Where is it? I'm looking for my screen sharer. Here it is. All right, let's transition that over. Here's the website, steps to voiceoversuccess.com. Right under this little top part here, here's the webinar registration. It's right there. Register here. Boom. And that's how you can register for the webinar. Just go to steps to voiceoversuccess.com. It's right there on the home page. Big and bold, right there. Free webinar, business development for voiceover. Now everybody knows where to get it. Also, there is a, uh, a link in the description that will show you that too. Um, you can go right to the register from the link in the description of this video uh, that you're watching right now. Oops, hit my mic. All right, now let me go back so I can see you guys' comments over here. All right, um, Paul Carter, execution, yes, I knew you'd say that. Execution is the key. Uh, Matthew French, uh, you put out quality information, but you cannot change a person's lazy or bad habits. Absolutely. It, um, it is a good thing to take some time to call attention to this, to help people check themselves. Absolutely. Um, and those aren't the people I want to work with. I'm, that's just being honest. I put out a, um, on my Instagram page, and this was a couple of months ago. Um, oh, gosh, what did it say? You guys can probably help me if, oh God, it's something like, if I have to push you to do it, you really don't want it or something like that. I, I've, it was, oh, it was so good. And I got, the quote came from Eric Thomas, um, it, but it was, I wish I could remember the quote, but I don't, but follow me on Instagram at Earl Hall studio and scroll through and you go, you'll probably see it uh, somewhere in there. Uh, Matthew, it's super, it is super easy to become a consumer of information. The doing it part, um, the doing part where the rubber meets the road is the challenge that many refuse to rise to. Um, Paul saying perfect analogy. I might steal that. Paul, all information is, you know, information, use it, steal it, whatever. I use plenty of stuff. Just like I, that quote that I could remember from Eric Thomas. Um, if it's good, it's just good. If it's true, it's just true, you know? Um, Andrea, I get it. The difference is an actual exchange in energy. Got it. Um, got it, Earl. Thanks. Um, from Ward, John, I've, uh, if I got to push you, it ain't for you. That's, that's, I think that's about it. I, I think that is probably about the quote, um, that was there. If I've got to push you, this ain't for you. Whether that's it or not, I don't know, but that sounds really good. <laughs> and that's true. Um, people sign up for, coaching programs all the time. And I think they're, you know, a lot of times it's a disservice because you really can't get to the coach. Um, you really, they really don't want to spend any time with you. They act like they don't want to spend any time with you. 
And it's one of the reasons why over the years that I've done this, people are still surprised when I answer my phone. If I've ever sent you an email, if you've ever uh, on my website, if I mean, my phone number's there and people are people literally are surprised because I answer this. I don't know a voiceover coach you can just call up. As a matter of fact, many of them don't even have a phone number on their website. They don't want to talk to you. They don't. You'll leave a message if there is a phone number there. You won't get a call back until you spend some money with them. That is the, I think that is the heartbreaking thing about a lot of this is that they will not talk to you until you spend some money with them. I don't, it's craziness to me that that is that way to be in a service business. Um, hey, what's up, Jody from Indonesia? Glad to have you in the house. Uh, ben, you got me to the full-time VO stage. Oh, you got me to the VO full-time stage. I don't contribute as much as I used to because grinding like a madman, it's hard work, but a lot of fun. Still need to create more. That's where I fall down. Let's see, Sammy, a man convinced against his will is the same opinion still. Yep, that's true. Uh, drive comes from within. I like that one too. Everybody steal that quote from Sammy. Or who? Or Sammy, who did you steal that quote from? Uh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, I've been, I've literally been in my office since um, about 5.30 this morning. And um, one, because I had some VO work I had to put out. I had to do my podcast. I got two more orders off of um, Fiverr, it's like, you know, speaking about Fiverr, Mage Pro can talk to you a little bit, or he'll, he, he can mention about what happened. So I put up a post this morning on Everywhere about my uh, demo service, demo creation service for you guys. And someone, I won't mention the name, came back with a comment, Fiverr, question mark. And then Mage Pro went in and um, kind of smacked his hand a little bit real nice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I say, look, all you, you know, the voiceover coaches that or anyone that has something against using Fiverr, I'm just going to say this again, you're, you are thinking about this completely wrong, period. That's why I did the webinar last week on it. You are completely wrong in the thinking. And if you've never used the platform, if you've never tried, I make money on Fiverr uh, in a very good way. There are plenty of you that are now attempting to make more money on Fiverr. Some of you already are because of the webinar that I did last week. The thought process and the mentality, the philosophy, the mindset that so many voice actors have is wrong because someone told them that Fiverr was bad. And I'm, ti I'm tired of the conversation, but it's like, I think it's just ridiculous. It is utterly ridiculous and it's because you do not understand the philosophy of doing business on a platform that is for freelancers it's that simple it's that simple you want to leave a comment you know have some balls if you if you disagree with me have some balls and leave a comment and i'll answer you uh <laughs> and we'll take it from there all right oh did i get that that was like nice nasty wasn't it um <laughs> Made. Sometimes we do need a push. It's mainly a push to challenge. Uh, great coaches know how to do how to do this, and Earl is there to do it. I'm doing the best that I can. Doing the best that I can. Um, hey, we're about at the end here. But if you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know now. I'll stay on for a few more minutes here, but I'm still in preparation stage for uh, the webinar. I'm actually working on a demo right now for a client. Um, I'm glad I got all my VO work done before that was, I came in, boom, in the booth. That's where I was just boom, just went there and knocked all of that out. So I'm glad I've, I've got that off my plate because I'm trying to get all this stuff done that I have to in the next about two to three hours. Cause I want to go obviously take a break and bring the heat, bring the fire that needs to be brought tonight, 7 PM central standard time on this webinar. Once again, the link is in the uh, description for the video. Yeah, it was slightly passive aggressive, wasn't it, Ben? <laughs> the little rant. But it's amazing that, that, to me. Now, 
I don't consume any other voice actor or voiceover coaches content. I don't. I don't subscribe to their YouTube channels. I don't watch them. I don't read their blogs or anything like that. But it is amazing to me because whether you know it or not, if you whatever YouTube channel you're subscribed to, the owner of that channel can see that you're subscribed to it. I there you can go in and you're back in your studio and you can click on subscribers and it shows you every last person. I know the voice actors that are following me. I won't call you out, but if you're following me, why? That's the question. Why are you following me? Don't mind you following me. We'd love to have you comment, love to have some back and forth or something like that on anything. Um, and some of the voice actors that follow me, and I'm not sliding all of them. There's just some of them that can probably be a little bit um, nasty uh, if they chose to be. But there are some out there that actually do like the content I produce. And I appreciate them for following the channel because, you know, that's what it's all about, sharing information. And I wish the voiceover community would share more. You know, but you've got the organizations that are out there that try and say that they are the only ones that have an answer. And it's just not true. And then I'm the voiceover rebel because no one gave me permission to do this. I didn't go through a group, didn't go through an organization, didn't didn't do any of that. I just started doing. That's it. And that's what I want you to do is just start doing. Um, Ward is asking, uh, can you watch the webinar on a phone? I don't know. Uh, uh, Mage is saying yes, so he's probably done it. Um, Andre, I'm excited about the webinar, and thanks for today's show, Earl. Thank you, Andrea. Sammy, what mic are you using for the YouTube broadcast? This microphone that I use is an Electrovoice RE320. It's in my store at Steps to Voice Over Success. If you want to purchase it, I would appreciate you purchasing it through my Amazon store. Um, so you can go to StepsToVoiceOverSuccess.com and find the store right in the top links. Um, what is it called? Uh, what, what did I call that? The link at steps to voiceover success.com. The link is voiceover gear and books. It's in the top links. Um, but yeah, it's an Electro voice RE320. Um, I've been using this for some years and actually this used to be my voiceover mic. I did. I've done, I've made plenty of money with this microphone. It runs about $300. I want to say. Uh, for the microphone, it's um, a dynamic mic, um, not a condenser. It's a dynamic mic, but it's very, very good. You guys can hear the sound quality uh, that comes from this. So, yeah, it's an Electrovoice RE320. It's the uh, baby brother of the Electrovoice RE20, um, which I used to have that microphone years ago, but I don't have that mic anymore. Um, let's see here. What did I just click on? Oh, that. All right. Um, Ward, looking forward to tonight. Awesome. Tonight uh, looks like an, yep, that's what it is. <laughs> the 320. Electro Voice RE320. All right, guys. Um, looking for my button here to press. Uh, thanks so much for tuning into the show today. I definitely appreciate it. Um, there's going to be some great information given on the webinar tonight. So uh, you can register for the webinar still. Uh, if you missed the webinar, no worries. Uh, you you will get the replay uh, for that. Am I using the right thing? I think I'm doing the right thing. Okay. I got buttons to press here. All right, guys. You have an awesome and amazing Thursday. I'll see probably most of you on the webinar tonight. And um, it's going to be a good time. It's going to be some great information and probably a nice big kick in the behind. Uh, to get you motivated and get you going. Link is in the description for the webinar. Um, so go ahead and click that and I'll see you guys and we'll be rocking it tonight. You guys have a great one. God bless.